In this video, we'll review the new panelling and manipulation tools in version 23 of mPanel Pro. We'll start with a conic I made earlier using the new tool to add a circular base. We select all the meshes, then select the options for panel a complete mesh. We'll set three panels and check the new panel multiple mesh option. Then run the tool and we get 12 panels. Let's nest these using the optional nesting tool which has been updated to a new nesting engine with some improved features. I'll make two copies of the panels. For this nest I've specified the sheet as one 50 meter roll of fabric which is two and a half meters wide. We've set the spacing between the panels at 25 millimeters and the warp angle limit is set to 10 degrees. We'll start by disabling the 180 degree rotation. We run the tool. Then for the second run, we'll allow the 180 degree rotation. Now we can see the amount of fabric used in both cases by dragging down the information window and as expected, nesting with the 180 degree rotation enabled has used almost 6% less fabric. Notice I haven't stamped a warp line on these panels. The nest panel has been upgraded to assume warp direction to be along the panel midline if a warp line isn't present. Panel Modifications has a new tool called Split Panel by Width from the left, right or centre of a panel. Here we have a large panel. We want to make this from fabric which is 3 metres wide. Run the tool and we get three and perhaps a third strips. Note the tool will not split the edge of a panel. So, for example, if I set the fabric width to 2.5 metres wide, we can see the fourth strip cuts through the right edge of the panel and doesn't pick up the correct catenary detail. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact support at mpanel.com.